Hey guys, it's Jason Latimer, the world champion of magic, coming to you directly from my home. I'm about to show you how to predict the future. That's right, when you learn this card trick, you're gonna be able to fool your friends, your family, and even your math teachers on this one. I've done this trick about a thousand times to myself because it is so funny because it just looks like it shouldn't work at all. So grab a deck of cards and let's get started. Seriously, pause the video, grab a deck of cards. You're gonna be making choices on your side of the screen. And so this will not make sense if you just follow my side. So grab a deck of cards. Now, I'm gonna show you a move to make. This is our move or what we could call our shuffle. Take a card from the top and you're gonna place it on the bottom. That's it. Just, you can't take two, you can't take three. It definitely has to be one card from the top to the bottom. So when I say make a move or make a shuffle, it's really just one card to the bottom. That's it, that's all you have to know. The other thing is we're gonna be spelling out words and for every letter, we're gonna make a move. So as we spell out the word, every letter requires one card from the top to the bottom. Now, you're gonna be making choices. You get to pick which pile you pick up for each letter, but for every letter, one card moves from the top to the bottom. We're gonna need eight cards. Grab four cards from, let's say, the hearts. That'll be easy for you guys to follow along with that. And I'm gonna use four cards from the diamonds. So four, three, two, ace on one side, put them in descending order so that the four will be on top and I flip them over. And ace, two, three, four on the other side so that the ace is on top in the other pile. Now, when you do this effect to your friends and family, they don't need to see the setup. In fact, you could just say, I'm making a prediction of how this is gonna work. Now, today's secret magical words, it's math or magic. That's right, math or magic, all of them together. And we're gonna spell them out and you get to pick up which pile you want for each letter. So you don't have to follow my lead on this, just every time you spell a new letter, flip one card from the tops. Uh, so let's get started. M-A-T-H-O-R-M-A-G-I-C. All right, now, I put the piles down, I'm gonna take the top card from each pile, I'm gonna place it at the top, right here, just away from them. So now we only have three cards on each side. So let's spell math or magic again. So here we go. M, A, T, H, you can do them in any order you want. O, R, M, A, G, I, C. All right, now take the top card from each pile, Set them aside together. Now, we have two cards on each side, so one last time, let's do it. M, A, T, H, O, R, M, A, G, I, C. Top cards, place it together. Now, we could do it again, but we only have one card each, so let's just slide those together. Now, you could have made any choice you wanted. You could have grabbed this pile or that pile, and you could have spelled it out any way you chose. But if you look closely, take a look at these two cards. How amazing is that those two cards matched up? And if we take a close look at these two, they matched up. And the next two, they matched up. And the last ones, they matched up. That is unbelievable. You could have done any choice, left or right, and yet you predicted the future by setting up the cards that way. Now, if that just blew your mind, type in the word magic below in the comments. And if you wanna understand how this is done, I'll give you a hint. It's mathematics. And it was created by a mathematical wizard slash mathematician slash genius, Martin Gardner. And if you wanna learn more about Martin Gardner, I'll put some links to his books below because they're amazing. Now, you have a choice. You can just remember how to set this up, remember all the steps, and you'll be able to do this to your friends and your family, and it will be magical to them and you because you won't understand the math behind it. And you can forever see magic. Or you can see part two of this video. I'm gonna break this down step by step so that you can actually see the inner workings of this magic trick. But spoiler alert, I'm gonna ruin the magic part. So that choice is up to you. And if you had fun today, let me know by clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel. And until next time, stay curious because the right question changes everything.